I teach kindergarten at Hackett Elementary, and I have for 43 years. My mother was a teacher. Now, she wasn't a teacher very long, about two or three years, but ever since, as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a teacher. I don't know it's because I can be bossy when I'm a teacher. I don't know what it is, but as a child, I would go up in our attic and write on chalkboards and have a pretend class and write my name on the rafters and I would teach class. So I've always wanted to be a teacher and I've always wanted to teach kindergarten. I love being a class because we do math. She's pretty and she's kind and caring for one another. How many kids still at my age, how many people do you have that come in and say, oh, you look so pretty this morning, Miss Foot." Okay, you know, that doesn't happen a lot, but these kids don't look at me as a older person. They just look at me as a person, you know, and they're just, I don't know, I just like talking to them. I like talking to them, I like to be around them. I do enjoy it. If I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't be able to come every day. So I do enjoy it a lot. I think she's a good teacher. I'm really gonna miss her next year. It's rewarding, it's just so rewarding, and I really think that God gave me this as a blessing to me because it has blessed me and has helped me become the person that I am by being a teacher for that long. And I, I think it's because of all the people that have been involved, not only the kids, but the, the staff, you know, everybody. It's just, it's just a good situation. I really think she is a good teacher. I guess she was nice and kind. Well, honestly, it almost seems like a blur because it seems like a long time, but when you're at this end of it, it just went by so far. So quickly and I know that sounds silly but it really has I just don't know when to stop I can't imagine getting up in the morning and not coming to school that sounds pretty lame but I just can't imagine not being here every day